It is only Dirk van Dijvenbode who's won multiple of these players' championship titles so far this year. He's got three of them. 96. The titles are being shared around. Who gets their hands on one today? I think everybody was intrigued 41. as to how Michael van Gelden would play yesterday. Obviously, after his injury on Thursday, we didn't see it. Lost to Boris Kritschmar in the opening round. Oh, Stevie B, why not? Why Game not? Shot. 170 to start the day for the bronze Dodonis. He's about three grand clear provisionally of the chasing pack. Looking to get to Blackpool in the world 180. match play. 180. So a good day today could either confirm it or it very, very likely. There are a couple of Euro tours to come and a couple more players' championship events before the field for Black Pla Blackpool is set. 68. Got to fill it up to reach a finish. 140. Jamie not quite able to do that. So Steve Beeson, treble 19 for tops. For a 3 0 lead. Game shot. Well, this is pretty special. Two holds a throw with ton plus checkouts. And look at him now. One 55. Of the top seeds, major finalist, multiple title winner, title winner this year, Ryan Searle. 177. So for Jamie Clark. But I fear that this particular game may be beyond him. 59. There's the Adonis. Where's he looking? Treble 10? Oh, how about this? 1, 2, 6, double 18. Uh, 90 scores. Yeah. Oh, Game shot. beautiful. Well, could it be another massive checkout to hold his throw? Oh, I thought he was going to do it for a fourth time in this 138. game. 138. But he leaves himself on double 8, and Steve Beaton has produced some moments of magic in this contest. 95. Jamie Clark hasn't thrown a great deal at him. But the bronze to Donis. 12. Had been going about his business. Double 16. Oh, he's going to have to be over the top towards the double eight. 51. That's where he was looking. He couldn't find the target. It was a difficult shot. This one a lot easier. Game straight in for Steve match. Beaton. It is not the brilliant stuff we saw him produce to win his other legs on throw. Three ton plus checkouts. Sixty. Sixty. <laughs> Batter his way through to the treble, so Dom Taylor can do whatever he wants from here. Good start on the ball. That leaves ninety-six. One hundred and five. Fine. A couple of legs here for Dom Taylor. Fourteen darter to hold throw. Potential thirteen dart break. Bearing in mind, he missed those three darts to take the second leg. 58. And you'd be hard pushed to say that Ryan Meikle has been any better than Dom Taylor in this game so far. Game shot. Because it is a level game. Dom Taylor has the darts because that was a 13 darter to break. 89. Well, Dom Taylor sets it up a little bit better than Ryan Meikle did. 14. <laughs> well, he's gone the hard route. 62. Yeah, it means that it's easier to set up the shot, but it's harder to take it out in that visit, and he might need to have taken it out in that visit. <laughs> 48 left, yeah. Double 16 for 4 2. 
And it's Game four shot. legs on the spin for Dom Taylor. Either one would have helped him significantly. And Dom Taylor could punish here. One hundred and thirty four. Certainly kept himself interested. Chance has gone. Oh no. Twenty nine. Well, that is no help at all. Another in there. Double 16 for a barnstormer. Oh, Game what a shot. shot, Dom Taylor. The tower. There's an air of dejection because the barber knows he's relying on Taylor making a mistake. Well, I thought the bullseye might have been the shot there. 1 2 2 left. 57. Seven four would be handy. Ninety eight. Well, he's relying on misses. Fourteen segment looks at Miko's score. He's going to have to go for this. Leaves the bullseye for the match. And Game once shot again, and Dom match. Taylor makes up the numbers in these players' championship events and wins his opening games. Perhaps the consistent levels of astonishing stuff that we saw all the way through 125. But you get the feeling he'll, he'll get back into that form at some point. You know, he's winning loads of games even when he's not playing his best. So if it does click... 58. Happy days. One hundred. Ted Everett's looking at a big combo finish again. It's not going to go. So he's throwing one eighties in the first two legs, and he might lose them both. Fifty-seven. <laughs> Double eighteen. Game shot. 11 data. This is great from Damon Hatter. Ted Evers is still in bother here in this leg. 100. Quite a bit of bother, actually. 419s for Bull. There's three of them. That's the fourth. And that 101. was the first in the game. And it was one at the bullseye. Hetter might be looking at the bull in a moment as well. No, it's going to be double 12. Game shot. 14 data, 4 nil. Damon Hetter continues to average 109. Ted gets to a 2 data. Will it matter? 18. Ted Everts is nodding. He's expecting game shot. 98. Damon doesn't deliver just yet. Match dart missed for a 6 0 whitewash. Ted Everts to get a leg. Great dart. 80. And a miss high and a miss low. He's played very well for absolutely nothing, Ted Everts. Game and he gets shot absolutely nothing because Damon Hetter does him 6 0. Superb display from the Aussie number one who averages 107 as he powers through into the second round. It is the best display we've seen on this board. Eighty-six. Spraying him around a bit, Conan. He's going to need a couple of brilliant visits back-to-back -back if he's going to win this leg, and he's going to have to rely on Mensor missing, and that might not happen. Double top for a 160. 140. 
Another brilliant leg from Mensor. 11 data in the last leg. That would have been for a 12. 99. But if he completes it in 13, 14 or 15, that will do to get him into the lead. 1-0 up, 2-1 down, 3-2 up, question mark. Fifteen. Well, it's still a question mark at the minute, because it might not happen. Double 18, and it won't happen. What Game a shot, shot, Conan Whitehead. Conan Whitehead leaves himself on the little fish. Mensor will need to travel just to get any kind of finish. Is that in? Fifty-nine. No, it wasn't, and it means he's not down to any finish. Conan can do what he wants. Fifty-eight. Could have been better. Ninety-nine. Gets the treble. Double twelve for five-three, and a bit of daylight between these two for the first time in this game. Worries the wire. Game shot. Sails into the double six. It is one of the cruelest ways to be denied a tour card that I think I can remember. 140. Already seen a 170 on this board today. We're not going to see one here. Sixty. And if you're all at home with your Mensor Sulevich merch, doing imaginary headbutts, having one hundred for a big Mensor party because you thought you were going to watch him for the next two hours on the stream, you might be disappointed. Or maybe. The party will continue. Seventy-eight. No, you might be disappointed. Match darts incoming for Conan Whitehead. That might have been the chance to save himself. Game Doesn't shot take and it. The Conan match. Whitehead picks up his first win in a Players' Championship event since the back end of 2020. It's been a long time coming. Whitlock is a Pro Tour finalist this year. Remember, it's been very one hundred and forty early exits, but when he's got it right, he's got it very right. Yeah, lost out to Danny Knott, didn't he? And he can get a couple more wins. He would leapfrog Graham Van Barneveld going into single finger next week. 60. And you can never rule out as well someone just coming from the pack late on. It will be a nervy race. Game shot. And Steve Beaton will hope to remain in the race. But he's well and truly in the spots at the minute. And he's just got himself back on level terms here. He's doing it against Gary Anderson. Chris Landman came 92. within one game of winning a title this year as a non-tour card holder. Scott Williams did do it last year. 99. Oh, is this trend of breaks throw going to continue? Well, Beaton's going to at least have a chance. What are we going for, Steve? 100. Double, 20, double eight. Uh, a bit more conventional. Leaves the ball. And Game pins shot. the bullseye. Steve Beaton does level a match with an 86 checkout. We'll be looking for the same scenario as earlier. 1 3 4. Well, ideally take it out, but I doubt he'll go for the ball anyway. 58. Well, it's not ideal, but Steve Beaton is not going to do anything fancy to leave a finish. Just hit a load of trebles. That'd be the best thing to do. And 131. So he leaves himself on a two data, and now this is a problem. He was looking pretty secure in this leg, Dom Taylor, but he may not even get a dart to win it. Well, he does, but it's just the one. And that's Game all shot. he needs. Excellent finish from the young man from Bristol. Beaton is responding again. Can he find a two treble visit of his own? He can. 140. What a deciding leg this is. Is that opening visit of 44 going to be the one little chink in the armour that Dom Taylor exploits for Steve Beaton in this last leg decider? But could be a 44 coming of his own here. Need to treble. Uh, he's 
Nothing he can really do except get a treble. 43. And that pretty much levels the leg. And beating. If he can find another one. Does find another one. Credit to Steve Beaton. Credit to both players in this deciding leg. Both made one error, but it looks like the one that Dom Taylor made to let Steve off could be costly. They've pretty much mirrored each other in this leg, but beaten important. 99. Had the dart, and this is an opportunity for a big win. It Game is a big win. An excellent leg from Steve Beaton after starting it with 44. That he's still winning loads of games with that. 95. And surely it's only a matter of time before he hits a purple patch. He gets in form, and then he start, people start talking about him again as this guy could win the match play of the world or whatever. I mean, he was being tipped to do those sorts of things by many people last year. Yeah, Joe Cullen became a bit of a nemesis, didn't he? The match play, the Grand Prix, the Worlds. It was still a great year for Damon. 82. Opponent. This could be the final moment in the match. 11 segment. Gets it. Bullseye. This is big for Whitehead, and he's just alongside the Wyatt. And Hetter for some real breathing space here to break Conan Wyatt's throw for the third time in the match. Game and has shot. Done. And real daylight now for the Aussie number one. Level, Van Gerwen and Payne. 134. UK Open champion Andrew Gilding with a 6-2 win. Another tonne plus average. Ross Montgomery powerless to stop Goldfinger. From gliding into the third round. Andrew Gilding, despite being UK Open, we just goes under the radar still. He's a major champion. One of the... Well, is, if not the best story of the year so far. That's the level he's got. Averaging 102. And a good job in beating Ross Montgomery. One of the highest quality games of the day, him and John Henderson in the opening round. Look 24. Silly numbers at each other for the first half of that match. Better for 5-1 here. This where he just... If he doesn't hit, don't go inside. Right. Game shot. He hits it anyway, but yeah, just saying, if he goes inside on the big 10, he's inviting a little bit of problems. If he deflects into it, it might deflect way, way off it and out of the treble 20, but he does seem to cluster them together. Yeah, it was a ridiculous deflection into a treble 18. 97. Play, and yeah. the double top in Graz. He was on a nine darter, having gone 180, treble 20, and deflected into top. Cohen giving himself a little tap, but I think he knows his race is run. Or almost run 81. Here. This would send Hetter through to face Steve Beaton. It's been very comfortable for the Heat. And two match darts incoming. And only Game needs the one to the wrap match. up a pretty comprehensive performance. Conan Whitehead. Dolan. Had a big win over Winnie 120. Round. Couldn't get anywhere near Joe. And Joe, who lost out in the quarters last, sorry, last year, yesterday. On a good run again here into the last 16. 140. Find another treble, Steve. 100. Maybe an opportunity in the off in here. Double 16 for three all. Oh, that was close. That Game shot. Is right in the middle of the bed, three apiece. And then that outstanding tie from the second round. Adam Gavlas and Pascal Ruprecht. 140. It was won by Pascal Ruprecht. He'll face Mike Dedecker, yesterday's finalist, in the third round. 180. Three in the last three legs were beaten. He's keeping Damon Hetter at arm's length on his own throw. That's all he's got to do now. 60. Beaten for 5-4. 33. A little opening for Damon Hetter. It's a big ask, but an opportunity and a rare one against the darts. But he may do it. Oh, wow. Beaten can't look. And Game Hetter shot. has waited patiently. Two missed darts at doubles. 
from Steve Beaton to lead 5-4. And Damon Hetter pins the 140. Anguish for Steve Beaton. Four apiece. Thought that would be close. 180. Damon Hetter looking after doing the damage in the previous leg. And beaten. 94. Looks a beaten man, but he's still within striking distance. He's not out of this match, this leg, so far, Steve. And Hetta might be giving him a, a way back in here. 54. Ton minimum needed for, you, for Steve. Winner will play Stephen Bunting, confirmed, beating Darren Webster by six legs to three. 140. Brilliant from Steve Beaton. Not again, surely. Oh, this would hurt. Brilliant Game from Damon Hatter. What a little patch he found at the back end of the match. Sportly knowledge from Steve Beaton. His experience showed in the final is Mike the Decker. 180. He finds yet another max. Yeah, got out in front and took the final two to Decker. Decent display to cap off a satisfying performance. 97. One hundred and eighty. What is going on here? Five one eighties in the match. Fifty six. Completed the second leg. Doby held comfortably in the opening leg. Cross looking to do the same. Game shot. And does do the same. 11 dart leg to hold throw. This is an impressive start. 6 5 against Vinstra with 105 average. Made every leg possible today so far, Chris Doby. Ninety-six. And we can forget about this leg. We'll surely be two apiece in a few moments' time. One hundred and eighty. Max number eight. Eight. We're in the fourth leg. Game shot. And that is fourth leg on throw and from the last 16 obviously we advance into the quarterfinals the quarterfinal will be on this stream will be taken from the section that involves Steve Lennon versus Andrew Gildon to face the winner of Gedwin Price 99 Price threw one up on Cullen Gildon and Lennon well, Gildon just taking the opening leg 1-0 in that one Boris Kritschmar is racing away with his last 16 tie 4-0 he now leads Scott Williams 174 Cross is making his move. He's performed nowhere near at this level today, but he's thriving on the challenge. He knows Chris dobie has been in great form and he's upped his level massively here, Rob. For a second 11 darts for the match. Game uh, shot. Making it look very easy here, Rob Cross. Six apiece and just phenomenal performance from the pair of them. 139. 139. Doby's thinking about it now, even more so. The first out was perfect. 180. And we may be seeing a nine dart leg. Chris Doby has gone six into the perfect leg here. He may need to take it out. 96. Cross, leaving himself a two data. Some game from the pair of them. But this to get level. Just low. But for Doby now, he's got a set up and hope Cross doesn't take the 86. 5 3. Josh Rock leads Michael Van Gerwen. 65. Fifty-four for thirty-two will be the route for Cross. 
Stay that in that segment. He's got the, the, the treble, so it's double seven. 72. Dobie gets his chance to get that break back. 16 for tops. This to level. Big dart for Doby. And Game he gets shot. it. Can he complete the turnaround? 140. Ninety-six. Hetter now leads Bunting four three. Cullen has won. It was three one down to Price. Won the next five legs six three. Joe Cullen's into the quarterfinals for the second consecutive day. One hundred and thirty-five. Cross ninety-six. The just to leave a finish. The Doby. Eleven dart leg. Take a twelve. Didn't even need a twelve. Game That's shot. It. And Doby is one away from the quarterfinals. Became the Masters champion that booked him his spot in the Premier League. Ninety three. Morton held his own. Yes, finished seventh, but doesn't tell the whole story for Doby. Putting some big averages and was very unlucky at times. Twelve. Twelve. Doby may get a chance here. He's going to get the 50. chance. 74. For a place in the quarterfinals where Hetter or Bunting awaits. That's... 65, yeah. Oh, he's rescued it. Can he complete the turnaround? Double 10. And Doby, for the first the time today, doesn't need a deciding leg in an absolute epic encounter in defeating yesterday's champion, Rob Cross. It's not going to be back-to-back -back victories for Rob Cross, but he can bow out with his head held high. That was some performance and voltage. Look at that. Gildan, first down to a finish, but you feel Joe Cullen 133. Much better placed after 12. Sixty. Game shot. And it's another 14 dart leg. This time to hold his throw, Joe Cullen. It's still advantage, Joe Cullen, to extend his advantage in this one. What pressure will he be under when he returns for that 110? 140. Wanted the bed next door. 40. Unable to find 18, so Gildin for Shanghai. 100. Tops to level this game. And game he manages shot. to find it. That is so Andrew Gildin, isn't it? So Gildin's not going to add the 141 to the 120 taken out a little while ago. 65. And he'll return. 96. Double eight to move within one. Game and shot. it's a break of throw to go 5-3 up in this one. And look at Joe Cullen's reaction in the background there. One hundred and thirty-four. Yeah, that's excellent stuff from Joe Cullen. He needs to break the throw of Andrew Gildin here, but One hundred. Gonna leave himself quite well placed if he returns, which he will do 62. for the match. 
I can tell you that Chris Doby is 5-4 up on Damon Hetter and Boris Kritschmar is 5-4 up on Josh Rock. Could Andrew Gildin be the second player to book his spot in the semi-final on double Game 10? Yes, he is. And you expected it to go because he has been so, so clinical on the outer ring throughout this entire contest. Hetter hasn't. 2-0 could soon become 3-0. Well, signs Hetter's getting into gear here. Whoa, That's more like it from Damon. Levels up the max count. 81. Get some funny deflections, Johnny. We just saw it there. So a little opening for Hetta here. Whoa, back to 180. Back. From nowhere. Hetta's got himself in the leg. Will he get a go? Double 10 for a 140. He Game won't shot. get a go. Brilliant from Johnny Clayton. That's a slack one. A few little more errors creeping in here for Johnny. And Hetta is going to be ready to pounce. Brilliant dive from Damon Hetta to lead 36 and punishes that poor visit from Johnny. Treble 20 for tops. It may go. Clayton for 4-1. He pulls 99. it low. He's had that in this leg and the previous leg. Could have been 5-0. It may be 3 2. Hetta just got a feather in. Does. Game shot. We talked about the race. 140. All the world match play. Well, the four remaining players, they don't need to worry about that. They'll just want to win the title today. They are going to be at the world match play. Josh Rock is one of two deputies as it stands this year. Josh and. Magda Decker will be amongst the field. Game shot. Johnny Clayton with an 11 dart. Break a throw. Up above 100 and a half for Damon Hetter. It's an intriguing semi final. 180. Hetter threatening to lead for the first time. Yet another max. 5 2 in favour of the Aussie. 140. He's threatening a nine data. Well, the nine data is on. Max number six for Damon Hetter, but importantly, it's two in the same leg. And just importantly, it's against the darts. And Clayton. 60. Can't leave a finish. It's on. Treble 19 for Hetter. Just pulls it. But there's focus there. He wasn't 94. dwelling on it. He knows it's a key moment in the match. It's an opportunity for him to lead for the first time. Acknowledged by Johnny, but he's not on a finish. Just looking to apply some pressure. 140. Hetter has not made many mistakes. 15 to lead for the first time. Trailed 3-0, trailed 4-3. Now leads at a key moment in the match. 5-4, Damon Hetter. Minimum requirement. There's three of him. Well, there's six of them, double six. Oh, he went in the 10. And he, even if he comes back, it could get awkward. He maybe rushed that last start, Johnny. 58 left for Damon. Well, Johnny got to go. 25. There's no mistakes. And that's no the risk, score. and that's what cost him going inside on the 10. A key moment in the match. You can't come low on double one. And Game Johnny shot. Clayton now finds himself at the point of no return, 6-4. The constant pressure of Damon Hetter. That's fine, he looks like he's going to get him over the line. 32. 32 score, 32 remains. Johnny's just got to hit and hope for some errors. But there hasn't been many um, many of them for Damon. 100. And that's not massive pressure. Hetter for the place in the final. Well, 14. Double seven. So he's, even if he does come back, double nine could get tricky. What can Johnny produce? 
the 141 isn't going to go. 57. Decisions to be made for Hetter here. He's missed three for a place in the final. Straight at it or split. Well, no score. he's bust his score. What has happened here? It looked an absolute cert. Damon Hetter was going to wrap this leg up. He may get another go, but he may not. Double six. This is what changed the game. Johnny missing, game but shot. this time he hits a real steal from Johnny Clayton. Average Thunder low 80. That's more like it from Hetter. Well, he may not be done yet. He Ooh, may not be done yet. Shrug of the shoulders, but an eighth maximum keeps him interested. 60. He's even more interested now after hearing that score of 60 from Johnny. What a remarkable game this has been. It looked, it was certain to be Damon Hetter. Then it looks certain it's going to be Johnny Clayton. It looks like it's in the balance again. Treble 17. Gets it, double 18 for the match for Johnny Clayton. And game that is the match. And, the match. and what a remarkable semi-final. Credit to Damon Hetter. He let it slip from his grasp.